All right, folks, today I'm in Humble doing a removal for uh, the church here. And uh, they've got bees in this tree. It's kind of out in the middle of there, just kind of just a backyard sort of space they have back behind the campus. Um, tree, bees have been here at least this summer and they've been waiting on me to get back to work. So anyway, this tree has been dying for a while. You look at the top of it, the top's died out of it. It's already snapped out of it. And what's funny is that tree over there is hollowed out. That one back there is hollowed out. Several of them all around here are hollowed out, but they picked this one because it is still maintained some of its outer, it still feels secure to them, whereas this one, the whole bottom of it's opened up, you know. So anyway, I'm going to start off and reach up here with my saw and knock off about as high as I can reach to take some of this overhead risk out, and then I'm going to see if I can't split this one open like a chair like I did, uh, oh shoot, I guess two years ago now? I don't think it was last year, I think it was two years ago. Um, that I took that one open that was also an humble but west of here quite a bit west of here anyway let me get her uh, fired up and do some work and I'll give you an update okay so just a quick update after about 10 minutes of getting my saw to finally start I went and took off the top of the tree like I said I would just fell over here out of my way and uh, then I made this vertical cut I made the bottom side cut top side cut and the vertical cut broke out this wedge cut a lot deeper than I realized cut through two Two of the honeycombs uh, laying here on the side. Man, I got stung on my ear. Oh, it hurts. Anyway, cut through these combs here, but I'm um, fixing to uh, start cutting honeycomb out and trying to clean up the mess. At first, I didn't think I saw any brood, but now I see just a little bit of cat brood right there. Um, but this is a teeny tiny little colony in the base of this tree, so bringing a 10 frame box will certainly, <laughs> certainly overkill. Um, I'll be lucky to fill one frame with brood comb, I think. So I'm going to start cutting and uh, cleaning it up. So this is kind of interesting. I've got a little march going now, going into the box. I haven't seen the queen run in there yet, uh, but I'm watching for her. Uh, but this tree, when I opened it up, they only had combs just right here. And you know, we're right down here on the ground. So I was like, man, this is a teeny tiny little colony. You know, they probably wouldn't even made the winter. But once I started cutting combs out, it goes, it goes way down deep inside there, way down below ground level. It goes down to the roots. God dang, it just got stung again. Um, anyway, it goes way down there into the roots, so it's actually turned out to be a much bigger colony than I realized, and it's slowing me down a little bit because of how it's down inside that hole like that. I have to cut the combs loose and then kind of wiggle them and work them and kind of pull them up out of that hole, you know, to, to get them out. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a little update on, on where I was at and just watching this little march working its way into the box right now and looking for that queen and cleaning things up. Well, the, bees are, the bees are all going in the box easy enough. I mean, they got a pretty steady march going, but I'm having to smoke them to make them march. Now, in the box, I sprayed one little spritz of Swarm Commander, last night, no less, to let it kind of air out a little bit, but still be present in the box. And inside the box, they're clustering on that spot of Swarm Commander. I didn't spray it directly on the wood. I sprayed it in the open box, so where it's settled is where they're trying to clump up, which is a bit frustrating because they'd rather clump up on the Swarm Commander than they would on their combs that I put in the box. So anyway, right now, you can see my bees all over the side of the tree here, and uh, they're clinging pretty tight to that tree. So I'm thinking the queen is still over there somewhere on the side of the tree. So just every uh, couple minutes, I'd smoke them real hard and get them running to the box again. So they're at least not trying to run deeper in the tree. They're not trying to run up higher on the stomp or anything like that. Um, now it's just a waiting game. Just looking for that queen. They're they're pretty nice bees, obviously. I'm right down here in it. Um, they're not bothering me. I've taken well, maybe maybe five or six stings now, but they've all been, you know, random and what I would call a you know a deserved sting. Stuck my hand on top of one or did something like that. Took a few that just popped me on the side of the head, kinda unexpected, but still Certainly not aggressive bees, considering they're not eating me up at all. So, this is going to be it for now. Just hanging out, watching, waiting, looking for the queen. Okay, so there you go. There's what's left. Uh, never did see the queen. Sat there and smoked them and let them march for a long time. Never did see her. They were right at the end. They were really clinging tight to the tree, kind of hiding in a little hole. Smoked it hard for 20 minutes. Bees run in, run out, run in, run out. Never did see her. So I probably said the heck with it. I got 99.9% .9 of them in the box. Got all the cones cut out. The tree, I dropped it over here on the top. Went ahead and bucked it up into about four foot lengths. Restacked it all there on top of the stump just so it's 
just so it's kind of cleaned up and organized they'll be able to get in here and mow everything like they need to um but here's the bees most of them are in the box and uh they're not wanting to go in though which scares me just because it's been just like all the rest of them they uh they run in and they run back out i looked in there there's bees crawling all over the inside of the box everywhere but they're not clumping up on their combs like i'd really like them to so i still don't know what's going on with all that the only thing not brand new in this whole setup is the frames and the frames that i used um, have been soaked in bleach water and then have sat out in the sun for a month or more and uh didn't put foundation or nothing in them just wooden frames they smell great to me they look fine but i don't know maybe there's something about them the bees don't like i got uh, a little two gallon bucket it's got scraps of honeycomb in it. It had a lot of sawdust and dirt and debris on it, so I'm not going to try to preserve it for human use, but I'll take it home, freeze it hard, and uh, feed it back when needed later. So with that, I'm going to call it a job. Well, I thought I'd give you just one more quick update tack on the end of the video here. Um, this was... Uh, I'm sorry, I had a brain fart. Anyway, what I ended up doing was the colony was too small to be in that big 10 frame box that I put them in on the job. And my wife called me down the way home. She said, hey, you know, a bunch of bees are outside the box, which she exaggerated. There was like maybe 200 outside the box. And basically, they were ones that had slipped out through the screens I put on the entrance and then couldn't figure out how to get back in. Um, but, you know, they got me concerned. Crap, they're not covering the combs. They're already getting slimed, whatever. Now, I'd already planned on putting them in a the smaller box anyway, but got home and actually, much to my surprise, they were still in the box um, and they were covering the combs. They weren't covering them super tight. Uh, but they were definitely all over them. They had not abandoned them like I've had them do in the past. Um, so I'm going to gamble here. And I went ahead and moved their frames with their combs into this box. I also gave them a comb from that colony. Just a real small comb that had some eggs and tiny larvae in it. So if they do need a queen, in case I didn't move any of their eggs or in case any of their eggs died due to the stress of being moved, whatever. Um, now they've got some, some backup. So... Um, went ahead and moved everything into this box and I'll probably just check back in on them again tomorrow but I think for now I'm gonna let them all get in the box uh, I don't really want to screen the entrance again tonight um, I could oh I also did I put a little shot of swarm commander inside there on the lid I mean tiny little spritz just to help them feel like they're home and happy so hopefully with all that in there they'll be happy right now they're running in they're going in the entrance which is you know just a little slot down there so they're going in right now so Let's just hope they stay.